Hello there and welcome to Sala de Herramientas. Have you ever wanted to organize all those brilliant ideas that are floating around your head, but you didn't know where and how to start? Stick around because in this video, I will show you how to master Miro, the ultimate collaborative whiteboard tool in just five steps. And trust me, by the end of this video, you will be connecting ideas like a pro. Let's get started. Okay, step number one. First things first, you have to go to Miro.com. This is what I'm showing on the screen where you need to log in or sign up for free. You can use your email account, your Google account, your Microsoft. You can see there are other options like Apple, Facebook, or even Slack. Whatever gets you in faster. I'm going to use my Google account, so I'll see you on the other side. Once you are in, you will land in your Teams workspace. This is mine. It's called Sala Herramientas, like this YouTube channel. Now, this is where all your whiteboards will be. If you are using the free version of Miro, a quick heads up. You can only edit your last three boards. Any older ones become view only. You can see that there is a tag here that this board is view only. Uh, so any older ones will become view only. Only three are going to be editable. So keep that in mind. Step number two, let's create something new. You can press here, create new or start a blank board. So let's do this, create new and we will select board. And you can see that Miro is saying that one of my boards will become view only because I have two editables at this time. If I'm going to create a third one, uh, one of the older boards will become view only. So I'm going to create this team board it's going to start loading the user interface uh, to start editing the board. But first, it's going to show you this list with all the templates that you can use. You can find uh, things like Kanban boards or uh, mind maps, you name it. Okay, if you don't want to use this, you just have to close it. We are going to keep this simple. We are going to work on a blank canvas. Once you have opened this blank board, uh, I know it's like staring at a fresh notebook page, except, you know, with the fear of messing up the first page, you will see the empty board ready to be filled with all your uh, great ideas. So it's up to you. The step number three is adding elements. This is the fun part. But before we dive in, uh, a quick heads up, like any digital tool, Miro's interface has a lot of options you can see here, you know, many things that you can press. Don't worry though, to keep things simple and avoid overwhelming you, in this video, uh, we will focus only on the toolbar on the left. This is where all the magic tools are hiding. This is where you can insert elements on the board. I will talk about three of those elements uh, that you will use probably most of the time, but you are free to check all the cool elements you can put into your board. So let's start with the text boxes. Uh, if you press on your keyboard, the letter T, you can select the text box and you can start writing something, you know? And you can make this thing bigger if you drag and make the box bigger, you know. But you can see also this mini toolbar that is going to pop up where you can change the color uh, of the text, for example. And you can do some other things to style your writing. Okay, that's the first element, uh, text boxes. The second one, this is one of Miro's signatures are the sticky notes. You can select a sticky note, select the color, you press here and you, can, you have your note. Okay, that's simple. The same with the other element. You can make it bigger or smaller. You can change the color and you have your uh, second element. If you're feeling productive, check this out. You can use the bulk mode so you can have like your note 
one here, no two, and no three if you're working with your team members. And once you're done, you click there and you have uh, all the notes at the same time. This is like a speed dating for ideas. So that's the second element, the sticky notes. And the third elements are the connectors. Uh, you can find the connectors here in shapes and lines. Uh, we're going to use the line. And once you select the line, you can see that if I put the cursor over uh, one of the elements, uh, you will see these uh, dots. So you can start connecting the elements, you know? And if you drag one of the elements, the connector stays with them. You know, that's very cool. Uh, so you can start connecting your ideas, you know? It's that easy. That's the third element you need to start connecting your thoughts on this uh, blank whiteboard that we are working on. So step number four is how to navigate the board. Now that you've got some stuff on your board, how do you move around? Uh, with the left uh, button of your mouse, you can you know, select the elements and drag and drop them and move them around the whiteboard. Uh, but if you want to uh, move around the board, you press the right button of your mouse and you see that there is like a hand grabbing the board so you can move around. And also you can use the scroll to zoom out or zoom in. The same thing that you can do here, you know, in this mini toolbar. And um, if you press here on zoom and navigation, you can open a mini map. This is very useful in case that your board has gone ginormous and you have so many elements that you need to, this, this mini map to navigate all your uh, thoughts and ideas. Okay, and step number five, now that you know how to insert elements, connect them and navigate through your board, it's time to show off this masterpiece that you have created. You have to go to here, this button, click share. And if you haven't put a title to your board, you have to give it a name. And once you've done that, this is like the same uh, share options that you will find in Google Docs or uh, OneDrive and Dropbox and so on. You can invite people, you can put their emails here or copy this link to share them. You can embed this board on a, a website and you can publish this to the web. But if you want to invite other people, uh, you can put their emails here and be, be aware that uh, if you share this uh, link, people with access to the link will be able to edit the board. If you want them to only view, you have to change this setting here or you can do, do it here. You know, anyone with the link, only viewer. You know, that's how you uh, protect your amazing uh, brain map that you have put uh, have put in in this whiteboard and there you go uh, five easy steps to becoming a miro master from organizing your thoughts to sharing them with the world you've got the tools to turn all of the chaos in your head into creativity if this tutorial was helpful hit that like button and let me know in the comments what other miro tricks you would like to learn I'll see you in the next tutorial, but until then, keep those ideas flowing. Bye-bye.